Hey, I'm back with Tar. Now, on today's episode, we're going to do a game that's not very well known. Rogue Galaxy. So, keep on watching and see exactly what this game's all about. Now, let's meet the main character of this game. Jasper. Now, Jasper lives on the desert planet Rosa. Unfortunately, Rosa's been captured by the army of... Oh, what's it called? Since Rosa's been under Lungardian rule. Yeah, Lingardian rule. I knew that. I would have got that if you would give me some time. Sheesh. Anyway, the reason Rosa has been captured is because there's a galaxy-wide war going on between the planets. And yes, I know that sounds a lot like something George Lucas would come up with, but it's actually pretty cool if you think about it. And Jasper, like any main character, wishes to get out of this planet and see the rest of the galaxies out there. Then, one day... A hooded man appears in town, same time as a giant monster attacking the city. So this mysterious man and Jasper head off to fight this monster. Foes with it. These foes are nothing. They just rode in on the big guy's coattails. Huh? Who are you? I'm your ally, of course. For now, anyway. And while this is going on, the robot Steve and Simon are off looking for some guy named Desert Claw who is a hunter. We later find out that they're space pirates and the reason they're looking for Desert Claw is so that he can join their crew. Also, they're a little bit of comic relief. I mean, just listen to how Simon talks. Take a good look at us, Warden. I mean, come on. We can't be criminals. We don't look suspicious at all. So, is this hooded man Desert Claw that everyone's looking for? I don't know, you have to play the game and find out for yourself. Anyway, enough about story, let's get on to the gameplay. Well, first of all, the battling system is pretty cool. It's real time, so there's no turn base, so it's not Final Fantasy style. Sorry if you like Final Fantasy. But just because it's real time, doesn't mean you can go swinging your sword like a madman. You only have a certain amount of attack you can do before you have to recharge. And don't worry, it recharges on its own. The only way you can affect it is if you guard it from an attack. Once you get used to this, this system is really fun to play by. Every character has two weapons, the main weapon and a sub-weapon. For Jasper, his main weapon is a sword and his sub-weapon is a gun. Each character has their own unique weapons they use. For example, Ego has an axe and the gun on his arm, while Kira has daggers. Steve has metal claws he can use, as well as bombs that fly out his back. And Simon's just loaded with all sorts of guns. Those of you who played Final Fantasy X, this next part of the game you might find pretty interesting. As you travel on your journey, you find special items which help you unlock special attacks. And every character has one of these grids, which makes it kind of a problem if you have only one item, but don't want to unlock two attacks. So just like the spear grid on Final Fantasy X, you gotta be careful what you pick and what you unlock. Once you unlock these abilities, then you can use them in the field of battle. Each ability you unlock has a cool cutscene that goes with it when you activate it. And there's a whole lot more than what I just showed you, but once again, if you want to see them, you gotta play the game yourself. Now there's only one last thing for me to talk about this game. If things start to get hairy up ahead, use the transporter. The transporters are how you save this game, and as the name goes, you can use them to transport from one save point to another. Unfortunately, this doesn't go planet-wide, so you can't start out on Rosa and then end up on some other planet. My final thoughts? This game is really fun. The only downside is getting used to the battle system, but like I said before, once you get used to it, it's a whole lot of fun. 
thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tar. And if you have any games you want me to do on Tar, let me know, and I'll see if I can do them. I'll see you later.